So let's hit that button, say hello to YouTube, and uh, oh yeah, I promised I would read out the code card here, huh? It is R72LM9D9V4DW2. Uh, again, I don't think it's going to be visible on camera because it's like way over, whatchamacallit, overexposed, but there it is. Uh, I read it out, so that's good. Did I post on Discord? I mean, I posted that I was going to. I didn't post that I was live now, but I posted that I was going to be streaming more wind tonight, so. I figured that was good enough for me. <laughs> oh. I don't like, like, I do try to keep the, the going live notifications or that I am live notifications in the one channel so that people can block that channel if they don't want to see those messages, but I just, I don't know, man. It feels spammy to me, so I try not to do it <laughs> too, too often. But I did still make sure to post that, you know, like I said, that we were going to, because it is, obviously, not a normal day for it. Uh, okay. Hey, Noodle. <laughs> I just realized that I forgot my thingies. Downstairs, my pouches. So if you're not like super busy or whatever, it would be appreciated. If you are super busy, I can come and get it myself. All right, pack up our tent. Uh, what time is it? I think it just told us like 10:34 or something. So with the mods that we have, the weather has an effect on us, and uh, right now it is lowering our agility, which isn't great. It's not like the end of the world either. But it's not amazing. Uh, but the first thing we need to do, actually, before we worry about, like, anything else, is see if we can find Rabina, dude. <laughs> the slave that we saved. Because, like, during our, our little trip here, our walk over here, she just disappeared. Uh, no idea where or why. So we're just going to have to retrace our steps and hopefully try to find her. And uh, pray that we don't get any more followers for the entire time we play this game. I'm just not a follower person in Bethesda games in general. I generally don't have them uh, or use them unless it's like part of a quest or something. Because I'm just not into it. At most, I'll have like dog meat and, and Fallout. I do kind of like dog meat. But trying some ethanol free in the car? What? Are you... Are you trying to tell me you're dumping moonshine in your car right now? I'm, I'm what are you doing, my guy? I don't know if I can condone this or not, but uh, hey, either way, I, I hope it works out well for you, man. <laughs> All right, uh, hold on. We need to... Not that. I wish this would stay equipped. Oh, hey, it stopped raining. Dude, just die. Why can I not hit the damn rat? There we go. Thank you, Noodle. <laughs> Ethanol free gas. What? Why? <laughs> right? Like, what's it really matter for gas? I know, or like in your car at least, I know like for small engines, for like uh, lawnmowers and stuff, it can actually make a decent difference um, because they're they're not designed for it, but cars are made for it. So like, what's the benefit of it? I used to burn the high ethanol gas in my car all the time, dude. <laughs> like, never gave me any problems. Didn't get quite as nice of a mileage, uh, but it did cost a hell of a lot less so we're pretty decent outside of just being cold and wet i wonder what we can do to help the cold thing like outside of i i, I imagine chilling by a fire and not being wet both of those would probably help a fair bit but outside of that like what do we do? Damn it, why is it raining again?
I don't think there's anything we can really do about the rain. Like, I mean, I guess we could just camp for a while. But, I don't know, man. This place isn't that dangerous. Might as well just continue trying to find Rubina here. I'm assuming during the trek over here, she probably got, like, stuck on some geometry somewhere or something. The nav mesh messed up, but... It's slightly annoying, nonetheless. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Wasn't sure if the game was crashing or what was going on. I think it just had to load a little bit there. 12, 11 p.m. Chilly thunderstorm. Exposure increasing rapidly. Yeah, well... You know, sometimes it just be like that. All right, Rabina, where, where, where you be? Is there a way to just like teleport her to us? Seriously though, where is she? Never came across it and it's supposed to be good for older cars. Yeah, I mean like, Again, modern engines are just built to run on it, so I don't think it really matters. Like, I don't think it'll hurt anything to run it on ethanol-free gas. I think you're just going to be paying extra for no good reason. From my understanding, I'm not some mechanic or anything. But, uh, yeah, like, old cars, especially... No. Doesn't the ethanol increase the rating? I remember, like, the reason they added lead to gasoline to begin with. There's Rabina. I see her walking like she just shit herself. Anyways, the reason they used to add lead to gasoline was because the um, the rating that gas gets. I forget what it's called. But it was too low in straight gasoline without additives. And the cheapest, easiest to come across additive they could find that would stop engines from knocking, like give it a high enough octane rating. There you go, that's what it's called. Anyways, was lead, and that's why they started adding lead to it. And then at some point they found out that they could use a mixture of like ethanol, and I believe they put something else in there too, other than lead. Because, of course, they found out that they poisoned an entire generation of people with lead poisoning, which is, you know, fantastic and all of the things it causes, because whenever the gasoline, leaded gasoline is burnt, guess what comes out of the tailpipe? Aerosolized lead! Isn't that fun? Rue, what's up, man? Welcome. Lead for what now? Gasoline. <laughs> we were talking about leaded gasoline. Well, specifically, uh, Nate mentioned that he's getting some ethanol or alcohol-free gasoline, and uh, I don't really see the point with modern-day cars. And it sent me on a, a tangent about how um, one of the reasons from memory here, again, I'm not a mechanic or anything, but from memory, one of the reasons why they started putting ethanol in cars or in gasoline was because the, uh, the octane rating on straight gas or whatever was too low which would cause engines, specifically older engines, to knock real bad. Because um, basically it was like the, the pistons were misfiring, essentially. Um, so they found out that instead of lead, if they used like ethanol, and I believe there's some other additives, um, they were able to prevent the knocking without using lead. <laughs> because, of course, lead bad. Lead poison a bunch of people. Bunch of people. <laughs> like... <laughs> Only getting three gallons either way for you to try it. Like I said, as far as I'm aware, in a modern car, it won't hurt anything using straight gasoline. And I imagine it probably still has additives in it to help increase the octane rating. I imagine. Um, just doesn't use the ethanol. And again, I know it's supposed... Oh, we fell. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, I don't know if that's specifically what caused them to go bang, bang. But they would, uh, they would, they would, like, they called it knocking. It's because the pistons weren't firing smoothly. Um, and so they would, like, oh, damn you. So whenever, like, the piston would raise, the compression alone caused too much heat, causing the, the gas to compress, be, or I'm sorry, causing it to fire off before the, uh, before the spark. 
which caused you know timings to be off and whatnot and yeah it was just it was just a bad time i don't know if that's specifically what caused them to make all the loud noise and shit like that but yeah has an octane of 90 okay yeah so that's that's higher it's not as high as you can get with with ethanol uh based fuel but it's higher than you know just the standard fuel that you probably get okay what leg injury grievous chest wound nice oh we're thirsty okay well we can fix the thirst oh that's empty water flask yeah. what about the water catcher can we drink that no can we refill what about water jug there we go that should get rid of the thirst at least i think uh, but we we're still not in a great position, and I see this rat, and I really don't want to fight it, so I'm going to try to just work our way around it, because we're kind of, we're pretty close to dying here. Okay, well, we can't get around it, apparently. Can we Skyrim our way up? Damn you, Rabina! <laughs> this is why Rabina always just disappears on us. Okay, well, Demon Tonto, magic, use... There we go. We got this. Rats ain't nothing, dude. I mean, granted, we fought like two scribs, a rat, and I don't remember what else. And <laughs> but we haven't fought very much, and we're already almost dead. So <laughs> we actually do kind of need to be careful of the rats. But you know, it'll be it'll be fine. Who it's who's keeping track, anyways, right? All right. So once we make it back over to here to where we were making camp, uh, we'll probably remake camp because. We're dying. <laughs> we need some sleep. Oh, we breathing. Hello. Rabina, stop fighting everything that moves, dude. Rabina's going to get me killed. and I'm 100% going to blame them for our death. And I don't know if it's possible for us to heal Rabina or not. Oh, God, dude. No. Ah, oh, come on, dude. She who? She Rabina or she... Oh, my God. Rabina sounds like they're going to die. Rabina or Bo? Who are you talking about? Sorry, this is a very intense battle, apparently. Oh, oh Bo is cute. Rabina? Rabina is a Khajiit, a, a cat person. Bo is a dragon. This is correct. Good job, Noodle. I'm proud of you for figuring that out all by yourself. Yeah, the, I mean, this is an old game, you gotta remember. Like, the world looks pretty nice. Part of that is because uh, the mods and stuff that we're using, but also, it's just easier to model, like, land than people, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the animations are fantastic. Um, but yeah, she she's a Khajiit, is their actual name. And, uh, or like, their, their racial name. And yeah, she's a she's a cat person, basically. Bo is so cute. Also, Bo is a girl. As far as I'm concerned, Bo's non-binary man. <laughs> Bo is whatever the hell we happen to call them at any given time. <laughs> like, Bo's just a dragon, and dragons don't need genders. It's fine. Genders don't exist for dragon kind. Can we all just agree on that? Definitely your favorite. What, the, the walking animation for, for Rubina here? It's fantastic. Fuck yeah, more envy? Exactly. Exactly. All right, we might as well set up our tent. Oh, shit. I just picked it up. Uh, I mean, I don't think... I don't know if the tent actually does anything for us or not. But we bought it, damn it, so we're gonna use it. There we go. Rubina, you're welcome to join us in here if you like. Put down our bedroll. 
there anything in town we should be doing? I mean, we can set up our campfire right outside here. Uh, we have two different kinds of campfires now, by the way. Because we uh, have two different survival mods. But this is the one I want. It doesn't require any... Wait, how do I... Oh, I think I click on... Yeah, there we go. It doesn't require anything to use, so... Cook up some meat. I'm pretty sure we have rat meat. So we will cook that up. Uh, meat. We probably have more rat meat. There we go. And I don't think it spoils. So let's just sleep for... I mean, we're considering this not like straight sleep, right? We're, we're considering this like... We're just making camp and chilling at camp until daylight, basically. So we're not sleeping for 13 hours. <laughs> we're just chilling for 13 hours. That's all. You feel well rested. Let's go. Exposure increasing slowly. Uh, I think your exposure is increasing slowly. All right. Pack up the campsite. Rabina's still here. That's good. We're probably going to be thirsty after all of that. And probably hungry. I think food's under magic. Mm -mm -mm. Some cooked rat meat and, uh, I don't know, some bread. That's a good... Oh, you're feeding Bo. Okay. Wasn't sure what the hell was going on with Bo. Is it really 8 in the morning? It looks awfully dark for being 8 in the morning, dude. <laughs> like, that's not just the stream. It's legit just dark. Oh, no, it's 6 a.m. I... Well, <laughs> I thought... Oh, it's because I was using 24 hour and I'm, you know, whatever. What's well, fine. We just got a nice bright and early start. We're trying to take Rabina somewhere. Um. Uh, da -da, ba -ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. Is it under, is it a quest? There's a man in fat legs drop off in Hla Ode who would like me to, oh wait, did that part. Uh, da -da, Rabina is grateful. I have agreed to take Rabina to Imkalaya. Imkalaya. Okay, do we know where Imkalaya is? Vec. Ebonheart. Legade. Im. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Old Ebonheart. So that's a solid no. I'm sure we got a hint on where it was at some point, though. Uh, yes. Uh, spy master. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's all the info we have on Rubina. If we just talk to you, will you tell us more about? Sorry. Um, you wish that we traveled together. Not really. Honestly, I kind of want to get rid of you. Follow me. Okay, maybe some of the townspeople know where M. Kalaya is or something. Or... Do we have any signs that point us in the right direction? No. Where'd the guard go? There he is. Hello, good sir. Uh, do you know where... Little advice, blades, background, no. Speak freely, friend. I'm trying to find Speak, traveler. a specific place. Here, commoner. That's interesting. Morrowind lore. Light armor is weak but less tiring. Good for running. Heavy armor is strong but slow and tiring. Medium armor is in between. Unarmored style, evading attacks instead of using armor. Least tiring of all. So what you're saying is we should just run around completely naked. Gotcha. Will do. Not really. Um, Maybe it's daylight savings time. Gross. <laughs> I need... And none of you can tell me where you I'm trying to go. Friend? Okay. C can we take... I doubt it, but can we take the, the thing? <laughs> the giant... Whatchamacallit? <laughs> The giant bug. <laughs> Can we take that to 
Ilya Nam Namaste. Well, I don't remember what the place was called. If I see it, though, I'll recognize it. Services, Silk Strider. No. Okay, we'll travel. Hmm. Where would you like to go? It'd be really helpful if you would just tell me a little bit about where you're trying to go, Rabina. Topics? Hi. No. Quests. It's literally all... It's all the info we have! <laughs> like... It's not, it's not particularly helpful. Where is this place? It's a secret and you should just know where she needs to go? I think you should just know where she needs to go. I say we just follow the road south. And uh, hope for the best. Ah. <laughs> If we just keep going this way, maybe we'll find a sign or someone that just knows something, anything. Follow the yellow brick road. There's no bricks. Lao, Nar, Mok, Sejanin, Evanhart, Pomora, Vivek. Well, this away then. <laughs> Weird that this way also points to Balmora, though, since it's like the exact opposite direction of where we went last time. Can you die, please. I hope followers can't die in this game. I feel like they probably can, but I don't know for sure if they can or not. I don't think we want to go to Bamora. Maybe Vivek. Oh, well, you know what? There's a town right there, though. Let's go visit that town. Maybe maybe someone there knows something. We're not visiting the random things on the side of the road, because we will die. We've already figured that much out. Got to keep an eye on Rabina, make sure she doesn't just disappear from the group here. What is this? Willow flower. Can I eat it? Heather. I miss how in Skyrim, when you just eat random things, it gives you some effect. Like, silence! What's up, my guy? Like, lets you know a little bit about what they do. Where's my drink? <laughs> Hydrate! Everyone take a drink, dude. Whatever you got, drink it. I am drinking blue. You probably can't see it because it's blue. <laughs> well, the liquid isn't, but the label is. Blue Raspberry Clear American today. Very good. Very good. Like, we got this Heather stuff, right? We eat one, and it just has no effect. Like, <laughs> I don't know what it did, if anything. And it makes me sad. We're not going to fight you. You'll probably kill us. Be jumping though. I know this game is old, and if you discount the people though, I feel like it's the prettiest of the Elder Scrolls games. Like, just f the worldscape and whatnot, right? The setting, the worldscape. Like, all the giant mushrooms and the weird creatures and things. Like, it's so unique, man. You know, you're not just fighting wolves and. I don't know. What else did you fight in Skyrim? <laughs> Wolves, oh, mud crabs, and that's about it, right? I don't, I don't think there was anything else. Uh, You don't have anything to tell me. What services are in town? Mabeshian Enik, the Breton. He's a traitor. Deals in a bit of everything. Ulernil is a high elf and a fair smith. Shadbok Grobberbug is the smith at Fort Pelagion. 
the Imperial Cult Shrine is at Fort Peliad, the Healing Altar, and Yigfa, the Healer, sells Cure Potions. Lady Flarugrius <laughs> and Anasi are trainers. You can usually find them at the Halfway Tavern. The names, though, dude. The words that they have. Kills me. I can hardly read English, and this isn't English. Huh. Bonech. <laughs> You said Skyrim, didn't I? Yes. Well, I, I think this is the prettiest of the Elder Scrolls game. Oh, other things to fight. Yes, 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 yes. Sorry, mind, it, you know, gets off track pretty quickly. Um, yeah, <laughs> other things to fight in Skyrim. Uh, specific place. Uh, it's just a small place. Just the halfway trade house, a couple of merchants, a few colonists. Hmm. I'm looking for... Man, that is one thing that I really liked about the old Outer Scrolls games. You could just ask, like, anyone anything. And there was a decent chance they would tell you a bit about it. Like, at least send you in the right direction. And your boy could really use that right about now. Uh, is there anything I want to sell you? Potion of pure, cure, is that common disease, blight disease. You're on desktop now. Nice. Restore. Oh, we have restore health. Look at that. I don't, this must be like some sort of, I still don't know how alchemy works. I'm just going to sell the alchemical supplies. I'll keep the food because we need to eat. Uh, I mean, we can cook the mushrooms, but we have plenty of regular food. We probably don't need scales. Uh, the small jerky stacks we'll get rid of. And that stuff. Open 40 to 60 points. We can already do like 50, right? So we can get rid of that probably. We're wearing everything we have. We want to keep all that. Okay. Do you have anything we want though? I don't think we're looking for any weapons right now, although having a bow would be pretty cool. Um, we'll look into bows more later, probably. Silver short sword. wonder if silver is good for, like, specific creatures. Stone axe. We are pretty decent with axes, too. I don't think there's any armor we're missing, right? Dairy Queen has gotten hell expense. I haven't been a Dairy Queen in so long, man. Yeah, we have normal pants, belt, and shirt, so I think we're fully set on armor. I mean, it'd always be nice to find, like, better armor, I guess. Like, Nordic fur boots, for instance. That's five with a weight of six. Our boots are ten with a weight of six, so no, never mind. Our, our boots are definitely better. Hmm. Any magic? Full shard star. Reef. Uh, no. Candlesticks. Honestly, a torch would be pretty nice. Uh, is that for the whole stack, the way to one? I imagine that's probably each. I will buy that, though. So that we can mess around with the other thing at some point the other fireplace weight of three we can we can we can hold it we're still making i think 11 gold so What's not bad not then? bad not a huge fan of the people that run our dairy queen i don't know the people that run our dairy queen wasn't there someone else up here am i blind Does this mean we're seen or not seen? I don't know. We're not going to take it. We're just going to read it. So, Healer's recipes. To restore health to the afflicted and wounded, combine in equal parts two or more of the following. Cheap and common ingredients. Marshmallow, wick wheat, cork ball, brute, and saltries. Marshmallow is an important crop. Of the Okay. <sighs> Problem is, unlike in Skyrim, it's probably not going to save any of those recipes for us. We're probably just going to memorize them. Which isn't gonna work because memory 
no work for me. There is another person, a guard. What do you know about the blades, guard? The blades are the Emperor's spies. They're everywhere, but no one knows who they are. I'm a blade. Can I say that, or is that bad? Uh, Keep okay. moving. I'm moving. Hush your stuff. Keep moving. Oh my god. I hate all you guards. Kunther. Um, look for someone in particular. Not really. You like to dance close to the fire, don't you? I don't know what that means, Kunther, but... Not surprised. The owner gave it to his son, and the son has had money all his life. Eh? One of those comes from money people, huh? That's going to say some sort of joke about, you know, the rest of us having to earn it, but... I, let's be honest, what money? <laughs> this looks free. I will take the cork bulb. Hello, fellow... Oh, you're a lizard person. Hello, lizard person. Do you... know anything... about where I'm trying to go? You do not. Well, thanks for the help anyways, lizard person. I shall be on my way. Is Rabina still calling? coming? Yes. We need a road sign. I mean, I see more buildings off in the distance. I just want to get rid of Rabina, man. That's all I want in life. <laughs> Where is she going? Uh, Main road, back road. Wait, what? I thought we were heading towards Vivek. Ah. Maybe these signs will point us in the right direction. What are you? Comberry. They look yummy. I'm sure they won't be poisonous at all, right? Point me to Vivek, please. This way. Isn't this the way I came from? Maybe we saw the town in the distance and we're just like, screw it, we're going that way. That's a real possibility. Seems to be this big disconnect between passing on the part about being broke to your kid when you make good money finally. I mean, I'm sure there's people that came from money that are decent people out there. I don't really know any rich people, <laughs> to be honest with you. So outside of like, you know, movies and stuff, I don't really have an opinion one way or the other. Ooh, here we go. Okay, maybe Vivek is this way, up the hill. A mouse died. There it goes. Going this way. Again, I could have swore this is the way we came from, but whatever. Nice rich people. Rare AF, though. Is it, though? I, I don't know. Like, I... Like I said, outside of like movies and TV shows, I, I honestly just don't know. Speak, traveler. Greetings, my friend. It is I, Nels Lendo. And who are you? See, you have heard of me. Well, no, <laughs> I haven't actually. I'm a reasonable man. Hardly the cutthroat someone would make me out. I offer you a fair and healthy proposition. Uh. Shit, I can't just say goodbye. When's the last time we saved? Fine, just take my money, Birgand. So talking to random people on the road, probably not a good thing to do, it seems, man. Every time we do it, we get we get our stuff stolen from us. It's a rat! Ow. And when a single rat bite takes like a fifth of our health, you know, that's when I'm, I am I worry about fighting people. People can kill us in like one or two hits. Okay, Vivek this way. Random house on the side of the road? Maybe, maybe. Men are interacted with a few personally on both ends. It seems to be the second generation is all high and mighty more often than not, sadly, but the parents are normally humble as fuck, so it's wild. So, uh, I'll save my judgment until I meet someone, what do you, you know? Want? I don't know. We don't much like strangers around here. Well, 
It's good to know you're kind. I'm super tempted to just steal all your shit, but I won't. We not thieves. These things aren't gonna just like randomly attack me, right? They seem pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're chill. And Rabina's not going straight for them. If Rabina's not going straight for them, then that probably means we're fine. Are these big, big buildings here? Is that Vivek? Gonna take a wild guess and say this this large city looking place is probably Vivek. Although there's some sort of city there. Is that all one big place or is that like two separate, maybe two separate things? Just a general grouping. There's asshole and nice people on all ends of the totem pole. Exactly, my guy, exactly. The back of more Evan Harp. So what's that way? Is there just nothing over there? <laughs> I mean, we can see stuff over there, man. There's definitely something over there. Hello, random person. Can you help me find where I'm trying to take this ex-slave. Just friendly warning, don't spook the Netch. Don't worry, they're completely safe if you don't bother them, but get them riled up in their trouble, especially the Betty Netch. What are the Betty Netch? Betty Netch is the tough one. It's the Bull Netch that's poisonous, but the Betty Netch is twice as tough and twice as mean. Hmm. <laughs> okay. You're a Netch herder? Tell me about the Bull Netch. Normally, a single Betty Netch will have a harem... A five or six bull netch, but we keep the bull betty ratio closer to one to one for faster breeding. It tends to make our betty netch a little more aggressive than they are in the wild. Cool. What can you tell me about Vivek? A uh, city made up of nine cantons, each a little town in and of itself. Each great house has its own canton, and outlanders have their own canton called the Foreign Quarter. The arena is for public entertainment, little like mock battles and comic plays. Commoners and paupers live in St. Adelian and St. Olms. But most of all, this is Lord Vivek's holy city, the Ministry of Truth. The temple prison hangs above the great temple of the High Fane. It's a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh. Goodbye. Too much of a lore dump. Ovani, Arena, Redoran, Vlalu, St. Delian, St. Holmes, Temple, Temple, Ebonheart, Ebonheart, Vivek Temple, Vivek Temple. You know, I would have thought that they would have, like, marked it on our map somewhere, dude. They didn't, and I'm just, like, missing it, right? No? Is it more to the north? I don't know. I mean, we're already here. We might as well stop by Vivek and say hello. The other option, of course, if if we can't find anyone here in Vivek that knows anything, we'll probably hop on one of the 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 horse-drawn carriages. They're not horses. I can't remember what the hell they're called. We'll hop on one of them and go back to maybe Balmora so we can look at some of the Fighters Guild stuff and then just leave her at the house because we have that house that we're free to use now. Sounds like a plan to me. So I really don't want her following us everywhere. She just feels like a liability, honestly. Hello, random person. I doubt you're going to know anything. Uh, oh, you're the travel person. Okay. I don't suppose you can take me where I want to go, huh? No, you just take around the vet. What do you want? Hmm. You're not even the, the right type of traveler. What is up here? Also, how do we equip the torches? We bought those torches. It's the fishing pole. 
Uh, I'm blind. Are these? Nope. It's a willow anther torch. Just want one. How do we put it away? Oh, we fell. Do I just like click on it to take it off? Ah. Okay. So it looks we might have to go into our inventory to pull it out. I was hoping it was like a, a weapon that we could just right click and move through. Doesn't seem to be the case though. Foreign quarter lower waste works. Oh, this place looks confusing as shit, dude. I'm gonna get so lost around here. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. My fame, House Lalu. Uh, what can you tell me about the Ministry of Truth? I am a little bit interested in what the hell that is. Ministry of Truth is a celestial body suspended by Vivek's mighty power over the Great Temple of the High Fane. And who are the High Fane again? High Fane is the largest tribunal temple on Bardenfell. Arcanon Sarioni presides over the temple, along with a large staff of priests, healers, and monks. Pilgrims travel from all over Morrowind to view the High Fane and the Ministry of Truth. They offer prayer and thanks before the Palace of Vivek. Uh-huh. You don't say. <laughs> okay. Uh, seven victims here in Vivek. Okay, so something's going on in Vivek. I think our best bet is just to leave for now, dude. <laughs> Honestly. Um. Is this whole place built on water? Interesting design for a city. Ooh, what's the boat? Where does the boat go? Getting sidetracked, I realize this, but that's fine. I'm curious about the boat now. Can't help it, I'm curious. We're quick saving. Can we make it to the water? Nope. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think we can do it, man. I think it's... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. See, we're Gucci. We're fine. We can make it to the water. It's the quickest way down for sure. Now, next question is, can we make it up here? It doesn't look too, too steep. I think we can climb out. Well, maybe not. Oh, shit. We probably lost Rabina, though, huh? Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot about Rabina. All right, fine. We'll do it the normal way. Rabina, where are you at? Let's go. Find our way down. Uh, I'm assuming here. Oh, can we just walk down? Yes, even better. I didn't forget her, forget her. She just, man, <laughs> she really cramps our style, you know? <laughs> like, where is she? The, what, what the, dude, <laughs> this is, why? Where did you go? All we did was walk over here. Why are you stuck on the wall? <laughs> Come on, dude. We're trying to get you to where you need to go. You won't even tell me how to get there. Where are you going? Good job. Her pathfinding is just broken. What if we go in here? Will you Okay, you teleport in with us. Oh. No, oh. Can you walk down this way maybe? You know, she has some issues with her walk. Oh, my God. Uh, for canal works? Watch yourself. Is this where we want to go? I'm just trying to get down, dude. Come on. Come on. Underworks. We're probably not trying to get to the underworks. Oh, 
Oh, hey, we found the healer. Hello, healer. Uh... Hello, I'm assuming that means? Don't worry, Vivek can be confusing for us and we live here. Is there some specific place you want? Or someone in particular you're trying to find? There is a specific place I want, but I don't think you'll help me. Uh... You sell a bunch of stuff. I don't think I need any of it right now, though, to be honest. Oh, you can teach me spells, though. Wow to open? 1 to 100 points. Now, are these scrolls? Or do I just learn the spell? Has no words for you. Now oh, we just learned the spell. Let's go. Okay. Because tower key is just open for 50, but this is 1 to 100. It's just random. <laughs> and it turns out I like random BS. Cure common disease on self. That's pretty cool. I don't know what recall does. You already can do 50 points. Detect teacher to keep that creature. You can already do that. Shield would actually be pretty good. Shield 5 points? I don't know if 5 is good. 50 points on touch. 50 points on touch. Some of these spells seem a little, uh, <laughs> a little redundant. Okay. Tell you what, I want shield, and I want to learn vitality. Now I'm broke, so there we go. And we probably need... What the fuck are you? Your weapon has no effect. Will Rabina leave or is she just gonna stay here? Oh good, she left with me. Oh God, dude. Okay, well, I thought that's the way we came in. That must not be the way we came in. <laughs> Let's try a different direction, shall we? Maybe up the stairs. He's going to forget me somewhere when I'm blind and then yell at me to find me again. Oh. We'll just get you, like, one of those beepers, you know, when, like, you're facing the right direction. Watch it beeps faster or whatever. We'll have no trouble. So you'll just have to, like, slowly turn in, in, in spot until you, uh, until it starts beeping and then just walk that direction and repeat. I think there might be someone standing up there. Is this the way out? No, that's the canal works. Okay, so up more. I think you're drunk. No, I don't want to go up. I want to just leave. Is this the way out? Okay, which floor are we on? Wait, actually, while you're here, will you walk down? Oh, thank God. Okay, this is where we came in at. We finally finally found our way out. Hi, I goodbye. Oh, uh, you know what? We might have spent too much money on spells. I don't know how much it's going to cost for us to hitch a ride um okay well let's let's check the cost real quick but before i actually go anywhere i want to go check that bolt that that boat see where it goes hello uh travel oh good it's cheap saran balmora molagmar sejanine i don't know what saran is but that one's Oh, it's 14. I thought that said 148. It's like, damn, dude, that's expensive, though. No, it's not that bad. I wouldn't leave her. I've never left her anywhere. She's just dramatic. Though it would be funny to give her one of those beepers and make her try to find me. <laughs> I'll just blindfold her and do that one day just for the fun of it. 
Hello, Boatmaster. Where are you going? Love Martel Branora. Ebonheart Lothode. What do you want? And are you the same? Old Ebonheart, Darvanus, and Dothran Docks. Speak Lots traveling. of travel options, but no, none of those places. Alright, back to Balmora then, so we can drop off Rabina and hopefully not forget about her. I thought that was a person over there. It's just some sort of growth. Why walk when you can ride? That's the plan. Travel Balmora, please. We make a special trip just for you. Same low pride. It's kinda hoping that we would uh get to like see us moving around or something, but yeah. It is fine. Now, which section of Balmora are we on? We need to cross the water. It's very dark. Is this like an ash storm or something? Where are we right now? Speak quickly. This does not look too familiar. So if that's the waterway, then that's where we came in at, right? So... Then we would have come up here. I think it was up all the way. I'm trying to remember where our house was. Or the place that we claimed for our house. This looks very different, dude. <laughs> oh. No, didn't mean to press that. I think this is where we're trying to get. No, wait. Uh, mom broker. Bookseller. Where is Hodeus's house? Because if we find that, then we'll know we're in the right area. There's the Mage Guild, which I'm thinking of trying out the Mage Guild stuff, just because I'm hoping they'll teach us about um, alchemy. Oh, you're on the east side. For some reason, I thought you were on the west side. No. Oh. Okay, so that, that explains a lot, honestly. Are we not on the west side of the water last time? I thought we came in on the east side of the water. Oh, you know what? We must have been traveling south when we came in. And then we went to the left. I was thinking we were traveling north and... Yeah. That's where the confusion came from. What time is it, dude? It's only 8 p.m. There's got to be an ash storm or something going on. It's not a path we can follow. Uh, I don't trust you. I'm not talking to you. Time to hydrate. Let's go. You got it, my guy. Just in time, too. We found our house. And we can just leave her here and never talk to her again. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. Good stuff. But you just hydrate? It doesn't matter. Hydrate anyways. You can never overhydrate. That's not true. You can definitely overhydrate. But it's unlikely. I love how all this stuff still comes up red, like we're stealing. Uh, wait here. Will you wait literally in that one spot? That's a little annoying, but I guess it's fine. We are going to rest until the morning. And then go check out the Fighter's Guild, I think. Thirst and hunger. Thankfully, we have some cooked meat. 
and some water. Should deal with all of that. You have a dilemma? Yeah, what's wrong? What's your dilemma? Go ahead. Uh, Imperial Call, Imperial Legion, Mage's Guild. What were my orders? Fighter's Guild. Fighter's Guild is a professional organization chartered by the Emperor to regulate the hiring and training of mercenaries. Training, goods, and services are cheaper for members, and the guild stewards know where to find work. Excuse me. Uh, I just fire eye. Okay, can you tell me where to find her at? Um, there's so many things. You know what? It's probably on my map somewhere. You're folding pants. You need to get more out of the hamper, but it's been taken hostage. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you're at fault. <laughs> uh, world map. Uh, it's probably not going to show me on the world map. Okay, go out here. Now look at the map. Local. Guard tower. Houses. Is the whole east side nothing but houses? Oh, that's a corner club. Yeah, I'm guessing this is nothing but houses. <laughs> Lucky lockup. Some traders. Some houses. More houses. Wait. Guild of Fighters. There we go. Okay. So we just want to cross... I'm going to go north and around. Roughly. So I don't know how I did it, but you definitely cut your leg with your thumbnail and you're bleeding. <laughs> oh. At least she admits it, that she's a mess, you know? It is what it is, dude. <laughs> Quickly, Outlander. I don't even want to talk to you anymore. You feel wet. Yes. Yes, I do. Is this Fighter's Guild? It is. Guild of Fighters. Hello. I'm assuming stealing from the Guild of Fighters would not be a good idea. Uh, Citizen of the Empire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your little secret? Somebody said, Laris Varro over at Fort Moonmoth is looking for you. Said he wanted to talk to you. Don't know what about. Yes. Interesting. Um, so what do you want? Don't stand you. about. Get moving. I would like to join the Fighters Guild. You look like you could take care of yourself. Before I sign you up, you might want to look at the Fighter Guild, Fighters Guild Charter. Are you ready to sign up now? Uh, How do I look at the Charter? I'll recharter. Your duties are to your lords and brethren, and always proceeds with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind, and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. As a member, you are permitted to use items in our equipment chest. It is traitorous to fight or thieve from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. Do you feel you can uphold these ideals? Yeah, dude, we got this. You are now streamed the barbarian weenie, the associate. <laughs> In the Fighters Guild. Work hard, follow orders, and you'll do just fine. Seek me out if you feel you're ready for advancement. What are our orders? What's the equipment chest, actually? Arrows, bolts, healing potions. Let's go. Cool. Uh, orders. And an infestation of cave rats. Dude, I'm all for that one. Go to Drarain Thela's house. It is here in Balmora, along the river on the east side. Ask her where the rats are coming from. Kill the rats and get your payment. Okay. We can do that. Along the house on the east side, it is... Drarain Thela's house. Drarain Thela. And where is this chest? That we're allowed to use this one? I just want... The cheap restore health potions. Standard restore fatigue. And standard restore health. That's all I really want. 
Okay, along the river on the east side, we are on which side? The west. We need to cross the river. She called her grumpy floof before stream. <laughs> she was. She was looking very grumpy. I don't know why. She was like half asleep, just staring at me all grumpy. Like, so I pet her a little bit, and she put her hands up like she wanted to fight me. <laughs> and then she just gently pulled my hand down to her. So I pet her a little bit, and then she angrily got up and was just staring at Noodle and I. Make it quick, Outlander. Hello. I hear you have a problem with cave rats. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried that we eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you? Stream the barbarian we need, the associate. Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is, not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Okay. Uh, actually, let's do. Uh, fortify health. Oh, that's only for 30 seconds, though. Ugh. Doesn't last very long, does it? Probably should have looked at that before. Oh, and we have Berserk. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot about having Berserk. And then quickly, we want to switch to... Excuse me? Where's my demon... Tonto. Uh, it's probably because I don't have it equipped, huh? Uh, tab. There we go. Let's go, you bastard. Oh, damn it. <laughs> We've already been knocked down by the rat. All right, quickly. There's one. Now the other two are upstairs. Let's go. I'm waiting. How do I get upstairs? I'm waiting. Uh, do I have to leave? Do you have to walk outside to go upstairs? Bro, why is your house set up like this? This is terrible. Ow! We're dead! <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> what happened? We just went into the room and instantly died. Okay. I don't think we ever actually... Yeah, for some reason it auto-saves before sleep. Instead of, like, when you wake up. So I just need to try to remember to sleep when we get up. All right, eat the food. Drink the drink. Close that stuff. Oh, we're still hungry? Fair. Okay. I think we ate bread last time, too, or something. There we go. Uh, we, do, we don't actually need to talk to you. We just need to go... Back to the other side. Go ahead. Can't believe we died so damn quick, man. Especially because, like, we had the berserk and everything set. Go ahead. To fortify health? I don't know. I don't know what happened there, dude. We're gonna try again. Go in here. Yes. Ignore you people. Talk to you. I'd like to ask about the Fighters Guild. I would like to join. I'd like to read. I'm ready. Give me my orders. Cave rats. Let's go. Head on. And then. Take, take, take. Close. And back to the other side. What say you? Trying to think of how to deal with this without just like instantly dying again. <sighs> My time is precious, so make it quick. Here, you got a cave rat problem. Okay. Now, we want, I guess, shield. Well, no. Berserk lasts the longest. Oh, it drains agility, though. Which means we probably can't... Okay, so in that case... Let's do shield. 
Or actually, Demon Tonto lasts a while. So let's do Demon Tonto first. Well, for this one, we probably don't have to worry about it. It's the one upstairs that I think is the problem. Yeah, see, that wasn't so bad. But when we get to the ones upstairs, we're probably going to want to have to... Are probably going to want to use maybe the fortify health and all that BS. Okay, before we go in, shield, a vitality, and then shield, I think. I failed. Nice. We don't have enough magic left. Awesome. Okay. Uh, <laughs> maybe the Ring of Medusa's gaze would work. What do you mean it's still in effect? I don't have the Demon's Blade. Oh, I do have the Demon's Blade. Bro, we're just gonna die instantly again. I literally instantly. Why? I don't know what to do. Why are we dying instantly to a couple rats, man? Oh, wait. Is it daytime? No, it's 9 p.m. I forgot to save. We kind of wasted that drink, but whatever. Drink, eat, eat, save. I th we might have to go back to what we originally planned on doing. What's under preps? Setting the difficulty to normal, and then every level increasing it by like five. Let's try that. Let's just see how it goes. I like the challenge of having it hard, but if we can't even kill three rats, dude, like, <laughs> then what the hell are we gonna do, you know? I guess we could spend an ungodly amount of time grinding in the wild for enough levels that it doesn't matter so much, but that doesn't sound fun. That just sounds like tedium. We should be checking these crates. Sometimes there can be some good stuff in here, like gold. Pain and suffering? Exactly. Soul gems to sell? We're not taking plates. Ah, yes. All the gold. Thank you. And, okay. One more time. Let's give this a go. Hello. Don't press your luck. You're on your Fighter's honor. Guild. Join the Fighter's Guild. What's the charter? Yeah, you got it, my guy. Hey, what are our orders anyways? Cave rats? You got it. What's down here? Door? Oh, beds! We can use beds! It doesn't say anything about it being stealing if we open those. I wonder if there's anything in them. What's behind door number two? Hello. Yes. I'm Assuming you guys are like trainers of some sort or something. Oh, a trap door. Okay. We're just going to ignore you guys. Back up we go. Feed Nim. Thank you, my guy. He gets hungry. Take all the potions again. 
And hopefully for the last time, <laughs> head over to these stupid rats. After we loot these. That's why we kept dying to the rats, because we weren't looting all the crates we walked past. Man, when I saw our first order was to kill rats, I was like, man, that's literally perfect. You know what I mean? Oh, cool. We just leveled up, too. Well, we will whenever we take a nap. Hello, you have a rat problem? I'm here to deal with it. I would like to do the demon Tonto, please. Right? <laughs> We've been fighting all kinds of rats. And, like, sure... Oh my god, dude. Why? Why why can't I hit him? There we go. And like sure, the rats have hurt us, right? Like a few rats can get us close to dying. But it's instantly as soon as we spawn into the room we're dying. Okay, we're in a safe spot, so we are allowed to take a healing potion. We didn't get any injuries it doesn't look like. Oh wait, don't we have like a she, oh no, I thought we, we must not have bought the healing. Yeah, that's fortify health, not restore health. Uh, restore, probably bargain restore health. What does that actually do? One point for two seconds. Okay, so <laughs> wow, <laughs> that really is a bargain potion. Holy shit, dude, that's kind of trash. All right, let's try casting the shield spell. We have a 10% chance, apparently, of it working. Oh, shit. Bro. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Wait, was there only- There weren't even three rats. There was only two. We were insta-dying to two rats. We almost insta-died to them again. <laughs> Holy hell, my guy. Basket of pillows. This lady really does like her pillows, doesn't she? Ooh, marshmallow. So we're not thieves. I'm just curious what she has. Maybe she's hiding something good in here. What is that? Ashams. We're not going to take our food. That just seems rude. <gasps> you have a f silver flame skewer? It actually looks really cool. <laughs> I am tempted to take that. We're not going to steal it from her, though. Why Why do you have so many pillows, lady? Nobody needs that many pillows. Uh, Put away weapon. Uh, Put away hands in general. Hello. Anything you wish, Stream the Barbarian Weenie. You know I like you and want to help you. In fact, with a good friend like you, I might even be persuaded to gossip about a little secret. You know a little secret, do you? Well, first, let me tell you about the cave rats. Take your word that the cave rats are dead. Here, take these hundred septums. It's what I agreed to pay the Fighters Guild. Thank you. Now, since we are such good friends, what about this little secret, you know? More when we don't like to hear about vampires. We know that back west, the Mage's Guild helps them hide. The Mage's Guild is full of necromancers, and we don't like that one bit. If we see a vampire here in Morrowind, we put him on a stake and roast him. Well, truth be, we tell the Ordinators, let them take care of it. Private citizens have no business fighting vampires. They're too dangerous. I mean, fair enough. Is the rats haven't come back? That's good. Let's uh go back to the Fighter's Guild, I guess. Take a little nappy nap. God. Grievous leg wound. Chest injury. Chest injury. Oh man. My time is precious, so much is I wonder if that bodily injury mod increased the difficulty like a ton.
since I've only ever really played, you know, this time with it on, I can't oh really say. Goodness, Hello, we did the thing. Uh, cave rat. So you killed the rats. Not bad for you. You ready for more orders? Yeah, what else you got for us? Local egg mine has problems with egg poachers, and you're going to solve those problems. Now, by egg poachers, <laughs> do you mean people or animals? Because people might be hard. Mine is a, distance, a, a short distance southwest of Balmora. Uh, in the Bluffs of the Odai River. I think we've actually been there. Okay. Speak up. Well, let's take a nap. You know, we had a hard day's work. We might as well get some sleep. It's only 10 a.m. My God. Sleep until, uh, I don't know, tomorrow. We'll, we'll get started bright and early. <laughs> Again, I'm imagining this rest, ooh, not being literally us sleeping the entire time, but just, you know, hanging out, chilling, stuff like that. You realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. X5 strength, oh, did we pick one? Hmm, X5 strength, X2 intelligence. Willpower, agility, speed, endurance, personality, or luck. Ooh, boy. Wait, you're dashing, Nate? That's what you're doing? Holy shit, dude. You want to take a nap? Same. Same. Um. Okay, maybe endurance. Personality, luck, willpower... I don't know what this this number next to it must be what it, we currently have. Doing more damage would be nice, but what we really need is the ability to take more damage. I mean, effects or health. You know, that's not bad. Willpower. Uh, agility. More agility, like dodging more would be nice. Extend your health gain per level. I'm going to do strength, I think, for the first one. Oh, we can we can raise three. Okay, well, we'll do strength, endurance. Oh, endurance only gets a times one, because it must not be, like, a major skill for us. And we can only put one thing on each. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Uh. Maybe our speed, then? How fast you can move. Agility makes us get hit less. I mean, luck, honestly, is always a good thing, right? Do we just max out, like, our main stats really quick and then work on the other ones, maybe? Honestly, a really tough choice. But I think, yeah. Agility, strength, speed. We're just going to go ahead and throw them on there for now. I mean, endurance isn't, like, far behind the other ones. Okay. And, yeah, I imagine we're hungry. Probably thirsty, too. Do we have any cooked food left? No, but we do have... Well, do we have that jerky? Yeah, let's just eat some jerky. And... Probably drink some water. Okay. I've been dashing since 2 p.m.? Holy crap, my guy. Oh, oh shit, and we leveled up, and as per what we were just saying, every time we level up, we'll go up by, I'm guessing, five-ish will be a decent number. I don't know. That might be too much. I don't know what the, the max level is on this game. Okay, so I think this is where we're going, right? They said something about it being south. And we were going there when we were heading back to Sejanin. So yeah, I think there. So we'll just head head out of town to the south. Before that though, trader? Ah, Don't right stand here. About. Get moving. Are you open yet? You appear to be. Um I would like to sell some goods if you don't mind. Like Corkball brutes, because I don't know how to use them. And heather. And willow anther. 
and scuttle and more and I don't know, all the stuff. Black anther? Ash yams are probably like normal food we can eat, right? I think that's it. I wonder, should we use a shield? We're using a one-handed weapon. Can we use two weapons at one time? Uh, I'm gonna assume no. Hold on, let's just offer that. Goodbye. I'm assuming two-handed fighting, like two-weapon fighting, wasn't an option in this game. Because like, if we go here, can we equip? Yeah, we can only equip one, okay. I figured as much, but I wasn't sure. So in that case, I see no reason not to use a, a, a small shield. I'm sure it does something to like our dodge chance and all that, but... Oiled Netch Leather Helm. Armor rating 10. Armor rating 7. Okay, ours is better. Uh, da -da -da -da. It's probably under apparel. Nordic Leather Shield. That's light. Is that the only shield? Tower Shield. Armor rating 5. 5. Weight 4.5. Wait, nine, no, so we definitely want the other one. Okay, goodbye. Uh, and a quick. Now, can we actually block in any way, or? Huh, I don't know how that works. Gonna get your shower, though, and out the rest of the clothes <laughs> away tomorrow, okay. You out those clothes, love. And Nate, you're insane, my guy. You're taking a break from like 2 to 4, then continuing dashing. I don't like that message that just popped up and said probably nothing. That, that worries me. Uh... We're probably fine. I'm going to say something about maybe we should take a quick nap, but nah, I'm sure it's okay. Just keep jumping, just keep jumping. I don't think there's level scaling in this game. I could be wrong about that, but unlike in Skyrim where the world around you gets stronger as you get stronger, I don't think that's how this one works. I think as you get stronger... That's just that. Like, you're just able to kill things more easily. Unless you go to, like, you know, the hard parts of the world. Is this one of the entrances to the egg mine? No, that's an ancestral tomb. We have learnt to stay the hell out of ancestral tombs. It's a lesson that probably took us too long to learn, to be honest. But we learn it. Thankfully, you don't seem to care about us. And if you don't care about us, we don't care about you. We will leave you alone. I am heading south, right? Yeah, there they are. Here's the egg miner peeps. Got to make like 70 Any more by 930. Holy shit, Just dude. don't keep me waiting. Now, who were we sent to talk to? Leave the dead alone. I plan on it. I'm trying. <laughs> I never meant to disturb them. It just kind of happened. I think agility is the big thing that we need to raise, honestly. It's like everything else feels decent. But being an orc rogue, I think, just, you know, isn't a great mix. But agility increases our chance to hit them and our ability to dodge them, which we're a light armor rogue. Like, the ability to dodge feels pretty important. Uh, okay. No, we were going to journal, actually. Uh, okay. Now, what do I do? Yeah, that the egg mine is located a short distance southwest of Amora. Old suspension bridge. Yeah. But once I come here, who do I talk to? Egg poachers. 
Savello, Othan, and Dinilla Velas used to work here. Not good people. Could be hiding anywhere in the mine. Oh, okay, so they're just two people that we need to kill in the mine. Uh, okay. Hurry this up, will you? Well, we do have a couple healing potions. Not allowed to use them in the middle of combat, but, uh, yeah. And it feels right, you know, to set up camp outside of a job site. That feels legit. It's such a nice day. We don't even need our tent. We're just going to throw down our, buh, 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 our bed roll. And our campfire. And get the hell into this. Cook some crap meat. Okay. We'll leave that stuff there. We're coming back, right? 9.30 a.m., hence the extreme short break. No dash open between... Oh. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Can't dash much when you're not allowed to dash, you know? Oh, the eggs haven't respawned. Interesting. Uh, I don't remember. Are you mean? There's one mod. I don't know if it works in this version in Open Morrowind. But there's one mod I had on regular Morrowind that I would love to have in this one. It just... Uh, you hold a button and it... And it uh, tells you if something is angry or not, basically. Can you die, please? How am I supposed to kill people when I can't even kill you? There we go. I mean, granted, this wasn't my best weapon, but... Okay, so... We've been through a decent bit of this part. That's the camp. Let's just go this way, because we haven't really gone that deep this way before. You're friendly, right? Yes. Oh, that's right. We came down to here, and we saw the, uh... It's like the queen nest or something, right? Or was that... That might have been in the other room. Do I still have my shield? I think I do. Okay. So far, so good. We Gucci. I hear a strange noise ahead. Are you... Oh, dude, that scared me. Okay, I don't think you're angry. I don't think the scribs by default are angry either. I think it's only the little ones, the, like, larva. That hate us by default for some reason. These guys. The foragers. Okay, was this the queen's nest? Yes, the queen's lair. Oh, hello. Surrender your life to me and I will end your pain. Oh my lord, you have a lot of health, don't you? Why why am I hitting or being hit so much? Oh, shoot. Also, we're on the We have the Tonto out. Oh god, dude. This is not going well. Okay, if I can get one of them down, that I think will help our chances a lot. Switching to the to the demon dagger honestly helps a ton, dude. Because our damage output is so much higher with it. Oh god. Let's go, dude. 
Let's go. One more. One more. How'd you hit me from so far away? You're fucked. Take that, dude. Okay. A miner's pick. Are you worth anything? Not really. Common pants, not worth anything. Shirt, no. Nah, none of your stuff is worth anything. Uh, I mean, you have some eggs. Uh, nah. You only have a two to one value ratio. Honestly, not worth it. Plus, maybe it was us stealing the eggs is what was pissing off the, <laughs> the dudes before. Because I could have swore they were attacking us, but... Maybe we attacked one of them first accidentally. I think we found the queen. I'm really tempted to go say hello to the queen. But I, she might also murder us. Hello, Miss Queen. You look very pretty. Are you angry? Okay, well, you're angry. It really is crazy how much worse all of our other weapons are than that, uh, Demon Tonto. Hello. Oh, no, you're friendly. Can I, like, do anything with you? No? Okay, well... I'm definitely not going to attack you. We're just going to leave you be. I was just curious about you. That's not so often you get to meet a queen, after all. Uh, we can probably run now. I don't think there's anything else of, like, real danger. I am actually, though... I have a couple injuries. Going to take one of the really crappy healing potions we have, because why not? These bargain restore health, like... Ooh, it restores two hit points. Yay, you know what I mean? So that's the camp. What's up here? Oh, nothing. Just some just more eggs. Okay, fair. I'm surprised we lived, though, to be honest, man. I thought for sure we were screwed. With how little damage we were doing originally to the to the people, to the poachers. I love the fact, though, that we were sent down here to deal with poachers when just a couple days ago in in-game time, we were technically poachers. <laughs> like, we were just coming in here and stealing all the eggs, dude. We didn't know there was a problem with that. We thought they were free for the taking. Hello. Uh, I dealt with the egg poachers. Please don't harm the workers. They won't bother you, but foragers and warriors will attack you. Since they don't recognize your smell, avoid them or go ahead and kill them if you have to. Don't worry, the hive can replace them fast enough. Huh. Egg poachers, we don't know anything about that. Well, who do I tell that I dealt with the egg poachers? Then maybe the, the dudes outside? I mean, they're the ones who did originally tell me who I was looking for. Yeah, I killed them. What They're dead. Mean? I got rid of them. Uh, da -da, da -da. Tell me about the queen. The Kwama queen is the huge bloated Kwama that produces the nest eggs. They are too large and fat to move, and all their needs are attended to by worker Kwama. I guess nobody really cares that we dealt with the poachers. Maybe when we get back to Balmora, maybe the Fighter's Guild will reward us in some way. Bruh, why can I not hit you? Why do you suck so much? I'm going to end up hitting the big fella. I, I don't want to hit the big fella. Why do you... Okay, thank goodness, man. These forgers suck. Back to running and dancing. Let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Thank you. 
Just trying to leave your, your hole here. You two, do you guys care that I dealt with your egg poacher problem? Hey, okay. Well, they've had no problems. That's good. Alright, but no reward though, huh? But don't take too much time. That sucks. Yep, whatever then. Uh Cook? Do we have any mushrooms? I guess not. Do we have any no, we don't have any crab. I don't think we have any eggs either, do we? Oh, we had a large egg. There we go. Large egg sounds nice. Where's the cooked eggs? And some water, please. Actually, we're very, very thirsty. Uh, water jug. And we'll rest a little bit before we take our journey. And now back to Bamora. Nice meeting you guys. Happy I could help. Uh, I'll be on my way. Taking some stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it does, but I'll take it anyways, damn it. I don't quite understand why she told us to, like, swim in the river until we see the bridge overhead. And then we'll know we're there when there's, like, a path right next to the river, dude. <laughs> like... You don't need to swim, you know. You can just just walk there. You catch any fish while we're here? Got to get it out first, I suppose, huh? Failed to catch anything. Well, failed to catch anything. Well, we suck. Damn, dude. Alright, well, this water sucks. We're leaving. <laughs> Where is this fighter's guild? Are you proud of me now, Dad? I killed some people. It's very impressive, I know. Are we on the right side of town? West. I think so, yes. Yes, we are. Wait, crates. Oh, free jerky. And free meat. And marshmallow. That stuff can be used to make healing potions, apparently. Don't ask me how, because I have no clue, but... I, you probably just, what, throw everything in a pot together and hope for the best? That sounds about right to me. Scuttle. What are you? Oh, you're the traitor. Mage's Guild and Fighters. Oh, Outlander. Did you want some? Hello. Tell me more about the equipment chest and the fighters guild. Okay, egg poachers. You got both of them? Good. Here's your payment. 100 septums. And we've got some extra potions from a recent raid. Take these. They'll come in handy. Just tell me when you're ready for more orders. Let's freaking go, dude. Um, Do we want to do more stuff for you? You've got the better of me. When do we go, go back to what's his name? Not that I mind doing more side quests, but when do we go back to what's his name? Uh your name is stream, very interesting, blah 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 blah, go to the last page. Oh, okay. So we can just come back to him whenever we want to continue the main storyline. Well, I, I I still want to spend at least a little bit more time, I think, with the Fighters Guild. And definitely so the from. Mages Guild, or whoever can teach us a little bit about... Um, whatchamacallit? Alchemy. Because I imagine alchemy will really come in handy in the long run. 
And with that, though, it is 2 o'clock, my guys. I think that's a pretty good place to call it. We're going to eat some food and drink real quick, though, because... Yeah, I mean, we're hungry already. I imagine the thirsty part is coming. And I don't want to forget to do it whenever we come back next time. Let's save stream 3.5. All right, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while I played more Morrowind. I, have, like I said, I've just been on Discord, I, I said. I, I've just been in a huge mood for uh, Bethesda-style games. I mean, I watch a lot of Bethesda playthrough, like of Skyrim and, and Fallout playthroughs and stuff on YouTube. So that's probably, pro probably? Lord, my words don't work. Probably part of the reason why I've been dying to play Bethesda games. Well, I just love them. They're some of my favorite games to just screw around in all the time. So, uh, yeah, I was happy to come back and play some more. Today is Tuesday, so, of course, tomorrow, Wednesday, we'll be back continuing our playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 3. It is going surprisingly well, if I do say so myself. We're doing all right in it, which is, you know... It only took us three games to learn, but <laughs> you did time it perfectly, Rue. Yes, good night to you, my guy. We are signing off as well. Thank you all again one last time. Good night, goodbye, and as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all.